Hi Leo, welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. This is the Leo general reading for today. We are in Taurus Moon right now, so we're, it's really a big focus on family, attachments, eating, food here, different kind of food, tasting different kind of food. Um, also expensive lifestyle, just expensive things, just, you know, what what's glittering to the eye here. You know, just really enjoying life right now. I already pulled your energy, um, Leo, and we will go in straight into prayer. We would like to thank the universe for the time, for the love, for the dedication, for the balance, for the clarity. We would like to ask for protection, for clarity, for balance. For insight in Jesus name and then love and light alrighty Leo so the overall energy is Taurus okay family attachments food expensive lifestyle it's most definitely independent most definitely just in control of yourself having everything before you feeling really confident here just abundant very abundant what's on the mind space is this Leo energy yourself could be getting yourself together, getting your mind together, controlling your ego here, working on that fear here, working on your mental space here. Um, could be meditating. Very strong will, though. Very strong willed. What's on the heart space is the Sagittarius energy, but it's patience with this temperance, balancing things out, getting your emotions together. So you could be really getting yourself together here, going back over documents, making sure you have everything in order here, making sure you have everything in line. What you need to be aware of, Leo, is your creativity, is the action you're putting forward, is the willpower here towards these new ideas, towards ending things, towards beginning things. What, what are you going to start? What are you going to leave off? Okay, Leo, what do you, what matters to you, Leo? Like, what do you want? What do you like about yourself? What could you change about yourself? Even if you want to keep it spiritually, what, what do you, what are you really expecting from the universe, Leo? What are you expecting from the people and the family members that you have? What are you expecting about the things that you're holding on to? Okay? When it comes to being aware of this as well, to be aware of somebody coming in and being all over your Monday. Okay? Your creativity, your, your ideas. Okay? So make sure you got that together. Make sure you're keeping, you know, stuff to yourself too. My brother just told me the other day. Dreams come true when they're kept in secret. The most likely outcome for you, Leo Sun, Leo Sun, fifth house, is the Two of Cups. You could be falling in love with yourself, okay? This is spiritual union. But you could be really in love with somebody. You could have chosen somebody that you really want to be with here. Um, but this is most definitely fall in love with self here as well, too. Just feeling like you have everything together. In love with your family here. In love with this relationship. In, in love with what you're starting here. And you have a passion here with your with, when it comes to your finances, how you're building here. Leo Moon here. You have to speak your truth. Believe in yourself. Stand up for what you believe in. When it comes to your spiritual gifts and you know you have them, you know, speak your truth. Don't let anybody come in and deny you. Mm -hmm. Leo rising. We could be we could have some black magic here. Call it for what it is. We could have some black magic here. We could have some manifestation. And it's very strong, very powerful. I always say be careful about what you manifest in. Okay? But other than that, you could really be in meditation mode, prayer mode, just, you know, really spiritual, really, really spiritual. And also what I saw with Leo's son, you could be really confident in your in your religion and what you believe in, very grounded as well. The energies we have, we have Taurus and the energy, we have Leo, Sagittarius, and Gemini. A lot of passion here. What clarifies what's on the mind is this Nine of Cups. What clarifies it is the Page of Swords here. Yeah, somebody could be watching your income now. Somebody could be spying on seeing what you have, what you got going on. And Leo, this is you. You you just getting away with, you know, 
finding out information, keeping secrets here. You know, the energy could be you stacking up, but you ain't telling nobody. You you get you really good at it. You really at keeping your abundance to yourself. And some people, some Leo, be careful. Somebody is watching you build. What's on the mind is the Leo card, this strength, your energy, this power towards the medicine wheel here. Being really in control of this change. You know, just being really in control on how things are going, you know, really taking this change in the best way possible, you know, going towards this change as well. And like I said, you got your mouth closed. You ain't really speaking. Even if it's changing yourself, changing your religion, you're not really telling everybody. You're, you're doing this transition alone. But you're keeping family things together here. You could be breaking generational curses as well. I got to call that out too. Just really taking charge on planning things too. Like you're very, very confident, Leo. And if you're not here, you're getting here. What's on the high space was this temperance energy. You're balancing out. You're going back. You're signing documents. You're making sure your slate is clean. You're, you're figuring out what you really want to go after. You're figuring out your passions here. Like I said, you're very creative planting seeds here, going back to see if something has manifested as well. That's beautiful energy. What clarifies the solar plexus chakra is the two of cups. We got the two of cups coming out and the most likely outcome for Leo's son as well. So this is a lot of unconditional love. Leo, be careful of this pride. Make sure you're healing all chakras. And this is the, the creativity chakra, the willpower chakra. Here, make sure you're putting faith without action instead. And I always say action doesn't necessarily mean to get up, but it could be to meditate, to pray, to eat better, to do something within your, your energy you're in now. But this it could be take a take another look at this relationship, take another look at yourself, take a look at, another look at your your the people around you, take another look at the people you care about, what you care about. Be careful. Be careful. Somebody could be watching your relationship, Leo. Somebody could be watching your relationship. The past could be coming back. We do have strong Sagittarius energy as well, but the past could be coming back, Leo. Somebody could be watching your relationship as well, keeping tabs on things. Trying to see how much is given, how much is taken. Mm -hmm. Be careful and make sure you're walking away from the right things too. Make sure you're, make sure you got everything lined up in order. Go back through, go back through. Don't make any mistakes that you know you could have avoided. So go back in. Make sure you have everything together. Make sure ain't nobody in your pockets. Leo's son here. Somebody could be wanting a second chance. You could also be most definitely getting yourself together, keeping your religious, your religious and the things that you care about really secretive here. You know, um, somebody could, you know, be coming back for a second chance, Leo, son. Somebody could want a second chance. We do have Scorpio energy as well. Something that was dead could be coming back, and they could have been—they could have been spying, making sure that you were on top of your your, what you whatever you had going on. Leo Moon, you had to stand up and believe in yourself here, heal with the Ten of Swords, get through this betrayal here, speak your truth, find your balance with things. Find your own confidence, find your own creativity, 
go back and find yourself, figure out where the mistakes were. Leo rising, we had the Gemini energy, we had the manifestation card, the creativity card. Be careful about what you're manifesting, okay? Don't bring the past back. Be careful about what you're manifest, manifesting. Manifesting. Something you could have worked out a long time ago. Just let that let that be, okay? We have Taurus energy with this new beginning here. But we have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of this deck. That's lies and deception. So be careful. Be careful. I'm going to pull you some oracle cards. But there's a lot of love here. A lot of unconditional love. This could be like even a soulmate. Soulmate energy, Leo. Leo Sun, we have Bridge. Stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. Leo Moon, we have Teeth. Take a big bite out of life. Leo Rising, we have food and eating. Things could be happening at, in the moment in this tour, with this Taurus moon here. Be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting. Bottom of the deck. Person wallet. Pursue your true wealth. Go after what you believe in. Leo Sun. Bridge. With my heart wide open, I realize that I am in an energetic bridge that connects me from where I am to where I want to be. Dreams of a bridge are about connection. If a bridge is broken or in need of a repair, your dream may be telling you to slow down in your new relationship or business venture. If a bridge is burned, this may mean a relationship has been savored or is in the midst of a major transformation. If you're crossing a bridge, you are moving forward in your life, connecting the dots between your past and future. Alrighty, be careful about those bridges, okay, Leo Sun? Leo Rising, we have food and eating. I feed my body, mind, and soul the nutrients to make me a vibrational match to the life of my dreams. Dreams of food represent values, customs, belief systems, influence, knowledge, or food for thought. On the physical level, food enriches the body. On the mental level, knowledge feeds the mind. Dreams of a feast signifies Consciousness, if this is a pleasant dream, you are allowing yourself to relish the fruits of your labor. If you are uncomfortable in the dream, you may be attempting to reject the belief systems you've been swallowing. If you are enjoying a healthy dream meal, you have found a recipe for success. Beautiful. So just be careful about what you're intaking, what you're giving out. Positive energy, negative energy, creating that balance as well. Just be careful with all of that, okay, Leo? Leo Moon, we have tea. I chew on my thoughts before I speak. I express myself with mindfulness and implacability. Because teeth are located in the mouth, any dream about them could relate to matters of communication, your ability to process or chew on data, as well as the way in which you perceive survival issues. After a dream of losing teeth, consider cleaning up any communication that may have gone away. Lose speech, like loose lips, sink ships. 
Take your time on your communication, Leo. Figure out who you are. Figure out what you love. Let's pull your moon card. Figure out who you are. Figure out what you love. Figure out what you want. Okay, Leo? Moon? You have third house messages. This is communication. This is with Gemini as well. This is Gemini and Virgo energy. But this is most definitely about communicating, um, about partnerships, working together, um, intaking information, giving information, cooperation as well. I send love and light and I wish you the best. Have a great day, Leo. Oh, please comment, like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button so my videos can just roll in for you and you don't have to come and find me. Um, booking in any appointments is on testimonies that's on Facebook or you can always email me and I can set you up an appointment and I can help. I would love to help. We will be in Gemini Moon by the 23rd. That's the last quarter with readjustments and the full moon will be bringing in cancer. Love and light.